groundwork for Russian special forces, the Spetsnaz. These elite troops under the GRU would penetrate countries to perform military sabotage when needed. Some would blow up strategic targets such as power stations, bridges and communication centers. Others would form assassination squads to kill government leaders and their families. This was an ability of great value for the Illuminati for world domination. In order to bring the Russian special forces into foreign countries when required, the GRU needed to assure themselves that they would have access to cross the borders. For this, they relied on the expertise of the KGB. The agency excelled at gaining entry into unfriendly countries. They needed to be able to consistently position their spies and smuggle out information. Again, the KGB often used sex and blackmail to accomplish its goals. In this hidden camera film, the man on the right is a KGB agent acting as a raven, a male whose job is to seduce someone to commit espionage. This raven is in the process of setting up a Mexican border guard. I'll get her replaced. Okay. So it's very Once this border guard was hooked, KGB agents could freely cross into the U.S. from Mexico at this station. This information would then be passed on to the GRU, so they too could use the access to bring in agents and the Spetsnaz when they were called for. So, will you call me? I call you. Okay, well. Anyway, anyway, I'll, I'll contact you, you know what I mean? I, I'll call you. I'll call you. Okay. i find you, then I'll call you. Are you okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. To execute the plan for global chaos and military coups, the secret brotherhood used the GRU to position sleeper agents and devastating weapons around the world. These weapons would stay hidden in strategic places until the day they would be needed. At that time of the Illuminati's choosing, the agents would come out of hiding and the weapons used. This Special Operation Forces uh, commanders um, are very highly trained uh, military professionals and they will come here when uh, real tension would be in place uh, and uh, they need to have very special weapon system to destroy very highly protected targets so they will have nuclear weapons chemical biological other weapon system the most frightening weapons to be smuggled in were the small nuclear devices that have become known as the nuclear suitcase bombs. These weapons could be moved easily by one person but had awesome destructive capabilities. Once they were in the US and other enemy countries, the weapons were hidden in safe places and could be retrieved in time of war. It is estimated that a frightening number of these nuclear devices were positioned in the US and other countries. In all probability, these nuclear devices remain hidden in their secret locations, all ready for use today. Thanks to the newly opened files of the KGB, we've had a shocking look at how the Illuminati has over the years manipulated the world's institutions like the Vatican. And we have seen that devastating weapons have been positioned around the world. We have focused on only Russia's connection to the Illuminati. Since Adam Weishaupt founded the secret organization in 1776, its tentacles have extended into many other nations around the globe. Even the United States shows telltale signs. The most obvious is on the back of the US $1 bill. Prominently displayed are the pyramid and the eye. The Illuminati's insignia put there in 1933 by order of President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Underneath are the Latin words, Novus Ordo Seclorum, 
which translates as New World Order. Can the unthinkable plan for Illuminati global domination be stopped? The only thing a secret society fears is being exposed. Today, books on the frightening subject are gaining wide distribution. The internet is filled with information about the secret organization. We can only hope that the people of all nations around the world will see the signs and heed the clear warning that there are those lurking in the shadows who are planning to take away our freedom. I'm Patrick McNee. Thanks for joining me.